All right. Groovy is a dynamic language for the Java Virtual Machine, and I think that for the JVM part there is uh, is important. Um, so from the very beginning, Groovy was designed to run on the JVM. So it's it's not the case that Groovy was developed and then later ported to the JVM or anything like that. From the beginning, Groovy was designed um, to target the JVM. And because of that, Groovy has really seamless interoperability uh, with, uh, with Java. So from Groovy code, you can directly instantiate instances of Java classes. And from Java classes, you can directly instantiate, uh, directly create instances of classes that were written in Groovy and make method calls in both directions. And uh, we get this really seamless interoperability between Groovy and Java. And that's, uh, that's really nice. Uh, the benefits of that manifest in, in really a lot of ways. Uh, so, so, so for example, in, in the beginning, as Groovy was uh, uh, was emerging, uh, one thing that uh, developers did not have to do is developers, Groovy developers, did not have to wait for libraries uh, to be developed for Groovy. So, for example, uh, Groovy developers didn't have to wait for a version of Log4j that supported Groovy and didn't have to wait for a version of Spring that supported Groovy, and did not have to wait for containers like Tomcat to have support for Groovy. Because Groovy compiles to bytecode, and because of how sort of seamlessly, how seamless the interoperability between Java and Groovy is, um, almost from the very beginning, Groovy and Java, uh, from the very beginning, you could use libraries like that, like Log4j and Spring and so forth, from Groovy. So the, the Groovy-Java interop story is, uh, uh, is a very good one and an important part of why Groovy has been as successful as it has. Uh, Groovy takes uh, Groovy takes inspiration really from a lot of programming languages, including Python and Ruby and Smalltalk and JavaScript and Perl and and the list goes on. Th those are all examples of of dynamic languages, and Groovy Groovy's taken inspiration from a lot of those languages. So if you already know Python, for example, when you're learning Groovy, you'll you'll see some things that look familiar. And the same going in the other direction. If you're already a Groovy developer, and then go take 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 your first look at Smalltalk, you may find some things in Smalltalk that look familiar um, from your from your Groovy experience. So Groovy's taken inspiration, really, from a lot of these a lot of these other dynamic programming languages. So what makes uh, Groovy dynamic? Groovy is dynamic um, in a number of ways. Groovy uh, supports dynamic typing, unlike Java, where every variable has to be statically typed or, or associated with a static type. That's not the case in Groovy. Groovy does support dynamic typing. So that, that's one part of uh, what it means for Groovy to be dynamic. Another part has to do with uh, dynamic dispatch, um, almost um, independent of dynamic typing. Groovy has this uh, really dynamic um, method dispatch mechanism, and an important part of that is uh, is the MOP or the Meta Object Protocol, which is the mechanism that makes uh, the semantics of a program extensible. And we're gonna we're gonna explore that and see what that really means. But Groovy is is not just a uh, dynamically typed language. Groovy has a, a really really dynamic um, uh, runtime characteristics associated with it. And, and as I said, we're gonna get into some of that. Groovy is not the only language that uh, supports a MOP. Um, languages like Groovy and Ruby and Smalltalk and Common Lisp um, all support um, some form of MOP. We're going to be exploring Groovy's implementation and get a sense for, for how a lot of this works. And one part of Groovy's dynamic dispatch mechanism includes these uh, metaprogramming hooks, which are spe special methods um, called invoke method, method missing, get property, set property, and property missing. Those are all special methods that participate in uh, method dispatch um, from, the, uh, uh, from within the Groovy programming language. So what I want to do is I want to jump into an IDE and start writing some code and explore uh, what these metaprogramming hooks are all about. All right, so I want to start by taking a look at a 